Can the government spy on my phone? The technology is called a stingray. The stingray. Stingray. The stingray. Stingrays. These stingrays, I think there are some questions about that. Then this interview can be over. A stingray can also be called a cell phone tracking device. Your cell phone sends information to a cell phone tower. A stingray, or cell site simulator, intercepts the information and stores it on a police computer. We're going to a Black Lives Matter protest to see if we can find this mysterious stingray. My name's Francis, and I'm an actor from Free Street Theater. I would say I'm an actor activist, but that sounds pretentious. I'm Patches Blanton. I'm an artist activist born and raised on the south side of Chicago. We're going to be using the app on our phones to track the stingrays that might be present. We're trying to see exactly where are these stingrays? Are they mobile? How do you spot one? They're trying to spy on us. We're going to spy on them with our phones. We only had one over here. Um, and we had two over here, over there by uh, East 34th Street. We have multiple now. Yeah, right here outside the police headquarters. Wow, oh my. By the time that the protest started moving, the blue dots would start moving with us, and it would constantly like appear and reappear. For me, like personally, I felt like there were like uh, stingrays inside the building. It's quite possible. Or even just right there. So oh, that's so scary. Can the government spy on me? Does the law allow them to search our phones? Smith versus Maryland was the case where the FBI used something called a pen register, where they would record every call you placed. It went up to the Supreme Court, and they basically said, your phone company knows what numbers you call. Therefore, you have no reasonable expectation of privacy in that. Our entire metadata surveillance industry is based on that case. It's unbelievable that it's legal to spy on your phone just based on one case from the 70s. There's no explicit guarantee of privacy in the Constitution. On the other hand, there are provisions in the Constitution itself and also in the Bill of Rights that implicate a right to privacy, like the right not to be subjected to unreasonable searches and seizures. Mm -hmm. Now, there is just so much personal stuff stored on your phone that the equation has changed. There's this doctrine called search incident to arrest. When they arrest you, Anything you've got with you, they can search. Mm -hmm. They can search your bag, they can search your pockets. You can search uh, your phone? Yeah. That, well, that was the theory. Uh -huh. All right. But there's already been a change in constitutional interpretation. You arrest somebody that does not give you the automatic right to search his phone. The Supreme Court said people have a reasonable expectation of privacy on what's on their phone. And one comment that Justice Roberts made in the opinion was, you know, your Google searches will say an awful lot about you, uh, including things that you wouldn't share with anybody and not even your wife. And that was an acknowledgement that metadata is important. You have to get a warrant to search the phone now. But so what if it's illegal? Who's going to arrest me? I'm the police. Freddie Martinez wanted to know does the Chicago Police Department have a stingray? They wouldn't tell, so he took them to court. I got in contact through an attorney friend of mine. We just decided to sue the police like crazy. We've been finding that they use really invasive surveillance equipment, and they pay for it with money that they get from the war on drugs. Welcome to Harris RF Communications, the preferred global provider of trusted communication solutions for those who defend, protect, and serve. Harris Corporation produced the Stingray equipment. They market it to, you know, the FBI, um, local police, things like that. Harris Corporation and the local police departments sign non-disclosure agreements, yeah. which will say, like, we won't disclose that we own this equipment in, like, court or to people who make Freedom of Information Act requests. Who knows how much they're hiding from Freddie with his FOIA suit. 
What I'm going to look for is something that is in a place where there is no cell phone tower, like in the middle of the street, or if it moves. Whoa, there's one traveling with us right now. As we were moving, I like noticed there was like a police car following us. It was like a van of some sort. I kept checking the tracker and like the same uh, signal just kept following us. Yeah, they are on to us. They all travel. The same four. Look. I feel like they, they, they're traveling in those white vans that are on to them. I can't see it, but it shows up on my map. I just feel kind of like, what do we do? Like, what, what do we do to combat being surveillance through our phones if there's no one to protect us? Spying on them is a perfect response to them spying on you. That's how we win. What surveillance programs would like is that we're all conformist. So when we actually like organize, we should act as if we're already free from all these programs, right? Yeah. At the same time, we should be aware that they exist, what their capabilities are, so that we can make the right decisions in the street.